this little man Welcome to the Church of Matt, spreading the good news to brothers and sisters in Apple everywhere. And now, here's the Reverend Dr. Bobby Newton. Welcome again, brothers and sisters. Blessings upon you and upon all of your Macs. Today's question comes from Chester McPherson in Tiftonia, Tennessee. Chester writes, Dear Dr. Bobby, that's it. I've decided I'm going to convert to the Church of Mac. Do you have any ideas about which of Steve's children I should adopt? Well, first of all, Chester, praise Jobs and welcome to the family. I'm happier than Steve Ballmer with a chair and someone to throw it at. As to which Mac to buy, there's basically two kinds of Mac users, professionals and consumers. Do you make your living with your computer? Well, if you do, congratulations. Apple considers you to be a professional. For a desktop computer, get a Mac Pro, or if you need to be mobile, get a MacBook Pro. If you're a consumer, get an iMac, or if you need to be mobile, get a MacBook. Or if you're a professional, but you don't have a lot of money, get a consumer Mac, then start looking for a different occupation because obviously what you're doing right now isn't working out for you. And if you're a consumer and you got lots of money, then get whatever the hell you want. This is America, baby. It may be called the land of the free, but the founding fathers didn't have Macs around when they wrote the Constitution. Just so you know, if you buy a MacBook Pro and then put rhinestones on it, you're going straight to hell. On the other hand, if your job involves saying, do you want the combo, then I'd get a Mac Mini or even an iPod Touch. With a touch, you can still check your email and go on the internet. Take it from me. Checking your MySpace on an iPod Touch goes a long way with the ladies. Just don't let them see you get on the bus. Well, that's it for today. I'm the Reverend Dr. Bobby Newton, and remember, God loves you, and so does Steve.